This is Tim Bryce with my column titled, Is the Political System Rigged? Throughout the electoral cycle thus far, Donald Trump has lamented about how the political system is rigged. It has become his mantra as he complained about the shady tactics used by other politicians, such as Ted Cruz, who tried to steal delegates from Trump and tell Iowa voters Ben Carson was leaving the race prematurely. Trump also complained about politicians such as Mitt Romney and GOP elites who believe they know what is best for the party and are trying to derail his campaign by changing the rules at the Republican convention. Trump also points an accusing finger at the FBI who failed to recommend indictment of Hillary Clinton over her email server, not to mention the scandalous meeting of Bill Clinton with Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Just one week later, FBI Director James Comey, who works for Lynch, recommended no prosecution of Mrs. Clinton. Coincidence? You tell me. What Trump has run into is much more than just the Clintons, but a massive political machine running the country and includes both political parties. Outsiders such as Trump and the general public may not understand these political gyrations, but this is standard operating procedure for Washington insiders. In 2013, Mark Leibovich, the chief national correspondent for the New York Times Magazine, wrote his expose titled, This Town. From a journalist's perspective, Leibovich reveals the true culture of D.C., where an incestuous relationship exists between government, journalists, and lobbyists, also known as the Washington Triad. All scratch each other's backs in order to climb their respective totem poles and grab as much money as possible along the way. He paints a picture of unadulterated collusion and makes it clear Washington exists not to solve the problems of the country, but to line the pockets of the residents there. From this perspective, we shouldn't be surprised other than how widespread the problem really is. Whether you are a government official, lobbyist, or a member of the press, it's about making money and control of the system. All three parties require love to stroke their ego, lots of it, and sees themselves as celebrities on the same level as Hollywood or higher, which explains why they get along so well. They are so consumed by climbing the tree of power, they have lost sight of why they were sent to Washington. One reason politicians resist term limits is because they do not want to get off the gravy train. If they somehow get voted out of office, they either join a lobby or the press. According to Leibovich, this also explains the adoration of the Clintons, who are treated as royalty by the mainstream media. The Clintons understand the Washington triad and are more than willing to safeguard it. On the other hand, Trump is the outsider nobody trusts to maintain the status quo, hence the overt opposition to him by the press, Democrats, and his own party, the Republicans. Understand this, if Hillary Clinton is elected, both Lynch and Comey will likely keep their jobs. However, if Trump is elected, they will be pounding the pavement looking for work, as will the party elites, the press, as well as the lobbyists trying to pull the strings. In terms of party politics, it is not unusual to suddenly change the rules to suit the needs of the party, not the candidate. This has been a headache Trump has long suffered. So, is the system rigged as Trump suggests? Yes. Most definitely, yes. The fix is in. Anyone who doesn't see it is blind, either naturally or intentionally. Now, what do we do about the system? Perpetuate it or tear it apart? Voters will be asked this question in November. Friends, keep the faith. This is Tim Bryce in Palm Harbor, Florida. Follow me on the internet at timbryce.com.